I just want to give a big thank you to our two newest members, Tadanya and Nikki. Thank you guys so much for joining and your support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, click the join button below my videos. If you're an iOS user, click the link in the info box and you'll be able to sign up from there. Hey guys, this is Evie. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I did these glass tip encapsulated flower nails using poly gel. All right, so this is my previous design. These are my cotton candy poly gel nails that I did a little over two weeks ago. And as you guys can see, the nails are holding on pretty strong. Absolutely no lifting, which is crazy. Um, these nails are super, super strong. So if you had any doubt about the strength of poly gel, um, they're pretty damn strong. I cannot tell the difference as far as strength between the poly gel and the acrylic. So if you're curious about my Fendi nails, I did these um, not too long ago. I will link the video in the cards and in the info box, but I love this design. So go ahead and check this out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these large nippers and remove all the crystals. And I'm also clipping down the tips. And just making sure to get as close to the nail bed area without actually taking any of that off. All right, so now I'm taking my e-file and my medium grit safety bit, um, and I'm just going to remove the gel top coat layer and just taking off any of the remaining tip of the nail. Um, I just want to keep the nail bed area and also you know, refine the smile line area. All right, so this is after all of the tips are off and now I'm just gonna take my hand file and go ahead and refine the smile line, making sure it is nice and crisp. And if you want more info on the nail dust collector that I'm using, um, I will go ahead and link that review and also a link to where you can purchase it because it is the bomb. So I'll be sculpting these nails using these pink extra long nail forms. So I'm going to be using the Gelish Poly Gel Natural Clear and the Slip Solution. Alright, so I'm just starting off with a medium bead of the clear poly gel and we're just going to work this down the nail. Um, this layer is going to be really thin because we don't want you know this nail to be bulky so just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm just going to take this down to about a two and a half on my nail form. Alright, so once I like the placement of that thin layer of poly gel, I'm just going to go right in and place my flower into the poly gel. Um, and this is pretty cool because the poly gel is sticky, so the flowers and the gold leaf foil just kind of sticks right onto it. But you don't want to press too hard, um, it doesn't take too, too much pressure, um, everything just kind of pretty much lays really well into the poly gel. So once I like the placement of everything, I just went ahead and cured in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And as you can see, it is pretty hard. It is nice and fully cured. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in with a, another dollop of the clear poly gel. And we're just gonna go ahead and encapsulate the tip, ensuring that the poly gel is um, covering the sides of the nail as well, because we don't want any spaces or anything like that. Um, but as always, the poly gel is so easy to work with. Um, as you can see, it's no problem smoothing this over and spreading it about.
So once I get the shape that I like, I just go ahead and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and this is what it looks like after I take off the nail form. So I basically just repeat the same thing for all of the nails. Um, so when you're working on nail forms with poly gel, you wanna make sure to not press down too hard because if you do, the nail form will come off or will lose its shape and all that. So just be careful about how hard you're pressing down. All right, so right here, I'm just showing you how thin this layer is. The nail bed area um, and the smile line sits up pretty high. So that is about how thin you wanna make this layer. And as before, I just go ahead and press my flowers and gold leaf foil into the poly gel. And after caring, once again, I'm just gonna use a dollop of the poly gel to go ahead and cap the tip. I wanna show you guys how um, if you're using nail forms, sometimes the light isn't able to penetrate all of the poly gel that's on the form. So you will sometimes get areas that aren't fully cured. Um, if this happens, I just go ahead and use my brush and smooth that out. And then I cure it um, in my LED lamp for about 30 seconds. So when using nail forms with poly gel, it's probably best to go ahead and use those clear nail forms just so the light from your nail lamp is able to penetrate the poly gel um, because sometimes these paper forms kind of stop the light from going all the way through. So that was kind of one of the issues I was dealing with, um, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but you can also try this out with tips. You may not have that problem, so yeah. So I've been getting plenty requests on how to encapsulate with poly gel. I hope you guys enjoy this. It does work. It's not really my cup of tea because I just feel like it takes so long. Like with every step you having to stop and cure in a nail lamp, it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> so my personal preference, I wouldn't do it, but definitely if you're into poly gel and you don't mind the constant curing and all that, then yeah, you can definitely encapsulate things with poly gel.
All right, so this is after I've done all of the nail tips and cured everything and all of that. Um, so now I'm going in with the Cover Pink Poly Gel and we're going to do the fill-in part. So I'm starting with a gelish pH bond and this is the Nail Prep Dehydrator. And I'm just applying this to my natural nail. And next I'm going in with the Harmony Pro Bond and this is an acid-free primer. And once again, I'm just applying that to my natural nail. And as we can see, this stuff works because these poly gel nails have not budged and have not lifted at all. So, so yeah. All right, so then I just take a bead of the Cover Pink and we're just going to work that around the cuticle area, making sure that it's nice and flush. And then I just bring the remainder of it down the nail. I'm trying to also form my apex area um with this as well so yeah but i don't bring it down too far as to cover the clear tip so if i go down too far i just kind of um brush it backwards and just try to smooth it out and all of that good stuff um so i did kind of work backwards if you want to do your fill-in area first you can definitely do that but i was a little excited to see how the encapsulation part would be so i just started with that first so after getting the nail bed area the way that I like, I just go ahead and cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And I repeat the same thing for all of the nails. And if I feel like I have too much poly gel, I just go ahead and scrape off the excess. Making sure to wipe off the clear tips so there aren't any, you know, pink color on that.
All right, so this is after everything is cured and now I'm gonna go in with my shaping and filing. Um, I'm starting off with my hand file, but you pretty much don't need an e-file because the poly gel is so easy to file. Um, it files down very quickly. So yeah, no e-file is pretty much needed. So I'm just working with the hand file on the 180 grit side, getting my um, side walls and the tip, the perfect shape that I want. And then I just smooth over the nail um, just to smooth everything out. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm going in with a combination of the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And as you guys know, this is my favorite combination in applying stones because they stay on forever. Um, so yeah, I just go in with the Bling Gel first and then I just put a coat of the top coat over it. And then I apply iridescent crystals. Um, these crystals are available on my website, so I will go ahead and link those down below. So after getting the placement the way that I want, I just go ahead and cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm just going to apply the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat to the rest of the nails. So after caring, I just wanna show you guys that the clear poly gel is clear, but it's not crystal clear. So I did film this over a few days. So this set here on my other hand is the set that my hubby did in our live stream from Saturday. But as you can see, the clear acrylic is super clear and the poly gel is, you know, somewhat clear, just to get a reference. So I am going to apply gel top coat underneath the nails just to see if we can get it a little clear. All right, so this is after applying the gel top coat underneath and curing, and I do have a white paper towel here for reference. Um, as you can see, you know, it is clear, but you know, clear acrylic still kind of just trumps as far as the clarity of the clear. All right, so now I'm just gonna apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I really do love how these nails came out. The shape is just perfect. And I do love that you're able to encapsulate with poly gel. Um, I love the flowers and everything. It's just so cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you in my next one.